Hey guys, I guess it's uh, exploit Thursday already. Today I want to show you an exploit to dump the protected memory of a CH573 microcontroller from WCH. You can see I have here a PCB from a product and I wanted to get the firmware out of the CH573F. Normally you would use such a WCH link to connect the SWD connection, you can see there, and read it out like that. But since the manufacturer enabled the read out protection and disabled even the SWD interface, you can see here in the data sheet of the chip, like they disabled the SWD interface and presumably also enabled the ROM read out protection. I was not able to read it out that way and glitching it seems to be quite hard, so far I know, as they have this valid signature value at that memory location. So if you would try to glitch this byte or these, uh, these bytes, it's most likely that the signature is not correct anymore and the glitching would not work. Luckily for us, the WCH um, bootloader is also integrated in the Flash, which is like their default bootloader you can use via USB or even via UART. And they have this WCH ISP tool for that. And this one supports quite a lot of different chips. I now selected, of course, the correct one and it was only possible to flash a new firmware onto it by ticking that box. So that means it is already enabled as far I can see. And you can see here the bootloader version of the chip I am at right now. So I played a bit around with it and was able to flash a custom firmware, blink some LEDs and print something out via UART. And then I started to also dump the flash content out via UART, like this very simple code with just enabled UART and will then spit out each byte of the memory from zero to endless, I would call. After I did this, this for a while, I saw that while the first bytes, of course, consists of the software I wrote, the dumper itself, a little bit further down, you can see here empty bytes. These are just placeholders, I guess. You can see that we have code from the previous software. And even further down, we can see that the flash is not erased at all. So we have at the full flash, something still there. That means the onboard WCH bootloader is not erasing the whole flash if you write a new firmware, which is quite bad. So what I did next was to write the shortest possible dumper code, which is this, and flashed it with some additional C's just to see how long the um, flash gets erased. And we can see that about six and a half kilobytes will be erased. And after that, the old content is there. This is for months uh, quite nice to see as we can just uh, be sure to have everything after the 6.5 kilobytes limit. And also we have quite some space to write our own custom uh, virus, I would call it, to dump it. On the device I dumped now, we can see quite a lot of code. But if we see here at around half of the uh, memory, that a new firmware is starting here. Turns out they use an OTA update method, which has two banks. So you have the firmware two times in memory and on an OTA update, so wireless update, they will write 
the new firmware to one section and copy the old firmware to another section. So in case something goes wrong, they can still revert to the other firmware. That means even while the first six kilobytes are missing, I just have here the same kilobytes as yeah I uh, as I uh, that I would need. So not only can we dump out from six kilobytes and further, we can basically dump everything. And yeah, so just to validate it, I have put the code into Ghidra that I have dumped and you can see that it is really valid risk five um, code and we have even some strings in the in it. So yeah, quite nice to see. Uh, this will most likely be fixed in the future as WCH can update the bootloader and probably will. It's just a matter of time. So again, this is for the bootloader version 2.8 of the CH573. This will also most likely work on other chips from the lineup and just try it out. Well, this is quite a short video and I am not showing much of it. Uh, I will maybe later place the dump code down in the description. But let's see how it goes. Have a great day.